Hi guys, so this is the last kind of episode for now about uh, building structures in the garden. Um, so it hasn't changed from the last time you saw it, um, but what has changed is the weather. Um, we now suddenly got um, really strong winds and um, I really don't think that this height and the fact it's not like properly pinned down, what I did was I got the shovel and I dug down deep and then each pole is in the ground by like a um, half of a shovel width so I don't know you, I'll show you my shovel and then you can see <laughs> how big it is it's quite a small one um, so yeah each post is in uh, about that much and um, but once there's like basically the tarp, which is like a sail um, over the top, it's going to want to lift out the ground and do all sorts of things. So uh, for me, this is already saying that in this kind of changeable climate, um, it's not going to be a safe way to sleep at night. <laughs> it's so windy, it's blowing my camera around. trees moving quite a lot and over here in the woods that's our bit of woods the tops of the trees are moving quite a lot so anyway um, to wrap it up I may or may not come back to this project later on on a sunny day um, I think what I prefer to do is probably um, save up some money and buy a bivouac or the other thing is, is I have a sewing machine and I've got some really thick, high quality um, canvas that's um, been treated and waterproofed. Um, but actually saying that, it's so thick that it wouldn't be very light to carry if I went on a walk or something. I just need to get a really light, good thing that I could take up the mountains or I could try it out in the garden. And then, um, yeah, and then I'm much more portable. There's no point in me making a big, fat, heavy thing even though I could use it here in the garden easily. It would be a waste of that expensive fabric that I bought in the UK for yurt, yurt making, roof patching up and things. It's really, really substantial stuff. So I'm now going to see if I can find a little place in the forest down here where I'm out of the wind and I can just sit all cosy in my clothes and meditate for about 15, 20 minutes, maybe longer, see how I feel. In there, can you see? Brambles everywhere. A bit spiky. I could go in here. There's um, like a cosy patch that's kind of dry where all these vines hang off the trees. Can you see all those vines coming down? And also, there's another patch down here, which I like the look of. This is like the edge of our land here. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a sudden drop here. And it goes all the way, sudden drop down there. And basically, there's farmer's land here, um, his field, and like this kind of big trench thing. And this is like the roots of these trees coming down, um, where it's probably pretty shady and cosy down there so I'm gonna to have to turn off the camera so I can climb down I can't do it one-handed and, uh, and then oh look I'm on a stump uh, down there looks kind of nice yeah I'm gonna go down there looks cozy and then um, I've got lots more paperwork to do in the house, which I don't want to do, but it has to be done if I want to stay in this country. I've nearly done it. I've had my marriage certificate um, properly translated. And I'm just wondering whether I have to send the real thing or if I can print it off. Uh, photocopy it, rather. Oh, this tree's moving. It's so windy. <laughs> anyway, 
I'll see you soon guys on the next episode of Joe in the Country. Bye!